Gonna make an appearance? Gonna join me for the Adams Family tag? Maybe. I don't think she'll stay long. Hi guys. Uh, gonna be doing the Adams Family tag, as you heard me say. Uh, I was tagged by Erin over at Rest Queen, and apparently uh, the creator of this tag was Hannah over at Books and Beauty. And there she goes. Okay, she's gonna stay in the, in the sidelines here. Anyway, there are 10 questions all related to kind of characters and things from The Addams Family, one of my favorite shows growing up. I absolutely love that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm sitting kind of on my bed at the moment because I have piles and piles of books for this all around me. So anyway, number one, Morticia Adams, Mother slash Witch. What is your favorite witch book? Now, I know a lot of people have been picking things from the Harry Potter series, basically because they haven't read a lot of witch books. And I'm kind of in that same boat, but I didn't want to pick another Harry Potter book for this particular question. So I went with my other all-time favorite series, which is The Hollow series by Kim Harrison, and the book is Dead Witch Walking. Absolutely love Rachel Morgan, the witch in this one, and the progression that she makes throughout the 13 book series, which I finally finished this year. Excellent series. Uh, number two, Gomez Adams, Loving Father. Who is your favorite fictional dad? Um, the head up to this point, I would say, uh, always been Atticus Finch from uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, until I've now read the sequel and found out he's not quite the character you think he was within that book. If it, if it was in that book alone, it would definitely be Atticus Finch. Um, I think he does a model job of the way he raises his children. Um, and just an all-around really wonderful man, but like I said, different revelations in the second book. So instead, I decided to go with a Harry Potter character, which would be Mr. Weasley from the Harry Potter series. Uh, number three, Uncle Fester Adams. He can generate electricity. What book makes you light up so much you cannot stop talking about it? Um, that's tough because, you know, you come across another book and it's suddenly you want to be talking about that one because that's like your newfound favorite one, you know? it's just, it, it depends. I mean... I think one that's really stuck with me for quite some time is Ernest Cline's um, Ready Player One. I think that was just a phenomenal book. Um, it has a little bit of everything going for it. It's sort of sci-fi, a little bit of dystopian. It's virtual reality. It's 80s pop culture right up my street. So there was so much that just pulled me right into it. Now I listened to the audio version of it, which made it, I think, even better. Uh, but yeah, I'll go with Ready Player One for this particular question. Number four, uh, Wednesday Adams is obsessed with death. If you could have killed off any character in any book, who would it be? This was a tough one. Um, I, I was trying to rack my brains of like characters I just absolutely hated and wish they weren't in the book at all. Uh, but I couldn't really, nothing really popped into my head right away. So instead I went with a character that just, due to pure evilness and, and nastiness that I didn't like this person, I wanted them gone. Not that they didn't add a tremendous amount to the story. Um, and for this, I'm going with Professor Umbridge from the Harry Potter series. I think she makes her first appearance in Order of the Phoenix. She is just one nasty piece of work disguised in this, you know, sweet little lady all dressed in pink and, you know, with her cats and everything. It's all a facade and she's just totally evil. I mean, the part where she makes, you know, Harry write with the quill and it's carving into his hand. I mean... Who does that? You know, yeah, I, I would have liked her gone, but she did add a lot to the story. Uh, number five, Pugsley Adams plays pranks on everyone. Who is your favorite villain? <laughs> Again, Harry Potter now. I, I did avoid it for the first question, but it has to be he who shall not be named. Uh, Lord Voldemort. Uh, this is the progression of this character. Is this young orphan boy who ends up, you know, discovering he has these abilities using him in kind of a nasty way until he's brought to the school and you think, okay, he'll go on the straight and narrow and know who, as we all know, um, the path he ends up leading and the horrible things he does en route to trying to be the most powerful wizard is just uh, just amazing, I mean, amazing character, just pure evilness. Uh, number six, Lurch. Love Lurch. Um, he's based on Frankenstein and zombies. What is your favorite adaptation of a story? And I know a lot of people were trying, were trying to interpret this question um, thinking they meant like ad adaptation into a, a movie. If I were to go to a movie I'd probably pick Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Um, I first saw the movie uh, many 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 times if you know me. I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. I absolutely love the movie. I finally this year I think it was uh, read the book and it is different enough to make it enjoyable in its own right, but I think they did a phenomenal job of making this movie based on the main points in the book. So 
I actually like both of them. So if I went with the movie version, I'd pick that. If I were going into a book format, um, I took Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and I like the graphic novel adaptation. This is by Gris Grimley, and I think he did a really great job. I love the artwork within it. Um, and there's just, you know, it's text mixed with art, so it's not purely a graphic novel. Uh, and it keeps the um, essence of the main novel there, along with these added beautiful illustrations that I just can't get over. So that would be my answer for that. Um, and there goes Skippy. Bye, Skippy. Okay. Number seven. Grandma is an old classic witch. What is your favorite old classic horror book? Um, for that, probably Dracula. I think that was a little bit more my favorite. A little bit more so than Frankenstein. Frankenstein had a bit of a slow section, really, within the middle of it. But Dracula would be my favorite. Uh, show some of your horror books. Uh, so that's where all these piles of books I talked about uh, come into play. Um kind of go in age group here. I've got two from middle grade. I've got uh, Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail of these because there's just too many. Uh, Constance and Toop. This is by Gareth P. Jones. I got this off of Goodreads. It was a giveaway. Love it. Really great ghost story. Uh, moving into more um, uh, YA. My latest ultimate favorite is The Dead House by Don Kurtigich. You must pick this one up. Perfect for this time of year. Um... I'm going to say this from the last one. I can't remember if this is YA or adult. Uh, the Devouring, the first in a series by uh, Simon Holt. This one gave me a nightmare. Uh, Mary the Summoning, first of a two-part book. This is by uh, Hilary Monaghan about Bloody Mary. Love that one as well. Uh, the Girl from the Well by Rin Chepeco, of which I am currently reading the sequel, The Suffering. Uh, and another Bloody Mary book, Say Her Name by James Dawson. This was really excellent. Oh, well, it was a pile. Oy. Okay, saved it. Uh, the Asylum by Madeline Rue. Love this one as well. This is ghostly. This is the one I'm not sure if it was YA or adult. I couldn't quite remember, but Horror Store. This is by Grady Hendrix. Just set up like an Ikea catalog. Takes place in a warehouse. Just a really re unique book. Love the story. Uh, some gothic type horror. This is excellent. Uh, the house is this house is haunted by John Boyne. I really enjoyed this one in the setting, the atmosphere. Um, Susan Hill, right up that same street with the woman in black. Uh, the small hand, a ghost story, and Dolly, a ghost story. And I love these books. So they're all kind of the same format. They're really cool. Uh, going into some Japanese uh, horror by um, Juan by. K. Ohishi, I think this is based, um, this is what the ring is based on, I believe it was, yeah, yeah, this is, this is super cool, this kid is creepy, um, don't remember too much about this one, but this is Your House is on Fire, Your Children All Gone by Stephen Keysby, and there's, like, writing on the back there, I forget what it said, uh, if you tell me, if you tell on me, you're dead, it's, like, hidden in the background lettering, um, classic, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, uh, I've seen this movie recently. I haven't quite read this book yet, but I've seen the, the more like a televised series of the BBC, I think it was. Uh, James Herbert's The Secret of Crickley Hall. It's a nice ghostly haunted story, but quite a big book with very small print, so I hope to get to this one sometime. A little zombie fiction, because you got to have zombies at, at, you know, Halloween time. That would be 100 Days in Deadland, the first in a trilogy by Rachel Ox. Absolutely love this series. Highly recommend it. And then the classic the classic author of horror fiction would be Edgar Allan Poe. And I've got the complete tales here from the um, Barnes & Noble Classic Edition. So there are several other ones, oh, including the one I'm also currently reading, uh, The Ghost Hunters by Neil Spring. So there's like a lot more that I own that I just haven't even gotten to reading yet. Um, number nine, what are you going for as Halloween? Um, well, I don't really go any place or dress up anymore, but if I were, I would like to... Um, go with something from Doctor Who, probably a Cyberman, or even the fourth Doctor, because I actually do have a very long scarf, and he's my first Doctor, so something from Doctor Who, of course. Of course. Um, failing that, I'd go with Aaron's suggestion, which would be a minion. Love minions. Uh, and favorite Halloween films? Uh, always the classics, definitely. Um, Dracula and Frankenstein. I just love pulling those out every once in a while. Um, and then just some really creepy horror, uh, The Ring, and I'm currently watching Ring 2, another classic, The Omen, love that one. They're not really necessarily Halloween themed, but they are definitely, you know, horror type, which I like around this time of year. 
uh, The Grudge, super creepy. And I think I feel like kind of watching this one um, probably the next night or two, and that is The Others with Nicole Kidman. That almost has like a bit of a Got the Key feel to it as well. So that is the um, Adam's Family Tag. I want to thank Aaron for tagging me. I had a blast doing that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tag anybody who likes Halloween or horror. You are tagged. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.